I can't tell you how many golfers I see do this, pulling the club straight back, like you saw in the thumbnail. Now that's gonna ruin your game and ruin your ability to set this club on plane during the backswing. We need a curve to this. So we're answering the question today from Stephen Kerry. He said this, I personally found that I cannot create the simple one piece takeaway. Well, this is all you need because we're a channel that's powered by you, the viewers, so we're here to help you play your best golf. So do subscribe, do turn on the bell to never miss any of our free golf instruction uploads that go up five times a week. Let's get into this. So I want you to see the difference in this. Straight into that thumbnail we saw, have a look at that. On the, on the right hand side of the screen, this far one, this is what I want you to avoid. Look how the T pegs go straight back, okay? That's what we're trying to avoid. Now look at this one here. This has got a subtle curve. If this is our straight line there, it's got about two or three fingers in between. Now this is gonna form part of the drill which we're gonna talk through through this video, but that is just a simple demonstration of, well, of course, that's straight back. I know that makes logical sense because your club face is sort of staying squarer for what you feel, but the golf swings on a circle. So to keep it square, we've gotta adopt that circle into our golf game. So I would honestly just put a little bit of a channel of T-pegs down like I have done there for the first thing. But if you're at the range, just maybe get some coins out and replace them. Brilliant idea that, why don't I think of that? So put some coins down because these T-pegs are gonna help form your guide. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm now just gonna place them in the ground so I can hit some shots, but I've still got this sort of arc to work to, okay? We're not doing them because we do wanna avoid the straight back. So the reason why this makes sense, the first stage of learning this, is just to bring some other skills in. I often find golfers improve quicker bringing in everyday skills. So address the golf ball, both hands on, with those tee pegs just sort of in there as a visual, right? So that everyday movement makes sense. So just put the club in your right hand only. I've, I've taken this hand off. Now if I was to take it straight back, I'd have to sort of work like that, right? Not one piece, a little bit ugly. But if I didn't think about it and I was just gonna hit the ball away one-handed, just white like that, right? Just away like that. Look where my club straight away went. Boom. So what I want you to think about is, have the intention of hitting a one-handed shot and just going, pause, place your left hand on. Now look at this. Now to set that club on plane, I've got that butt end of the club, have a look at that there. This is the butt end of the club, if nobody knew that before. It's between, halfway between my feet and the golf ball. That helps form an on-playing golf swing. So really simple, how easy is that? Anybody can do that of any age where they just go, oh, boom. It's not out here, it's not whipped too round here. Bring in everyday sports, here. And you know what, even hit one away one-handed if you've got a load of balls, and just to warm up at the start of your rain session, definitely hit a few away one-handed. Now, to hit this away two-handed, definitely leave those tee pegs like I'm gonna do here. We're now gonna hit some shots away and put what I'd said into action. How easy is that? It's just an everyday motion. And as I say, you can bring it into your game much easier. Left-handed, just simply do it the other way around. Okay, now, if you haven't seen, we're giving away one of these, but not just an Aerojet driver, the Elevator pack. So that pack that you can't buy, the pack you've seen all the celebs have. So nice and simple, here's the entry criteria on the screen. It's subscribe, it's turn on the bell, and comment down below, entered to be in with the chance. Okay, so, from the player cam perspective, have a look at this down the screen. You can see clearly I've got that sort of arc. Now, what I would be thinking about in my takeaway is that, up to the sort of hip height, there's no sort of wrists involved. All I'm trying to do is trace those T pegs on that arc, okay? So imagine it's in my right hand only here, and then I'm gonna set. So watch this really, really close. I'm gonna hit this in a way, and let's see and analyze this. Whew. So have a look at this slow mo, right? Look at what I'm doing. And what I'm thinking about, what I would recommend you do, is I'm thinking about my right hand taking it away and then I'm setting it. Just like if I was to hit it away one-handed, it just creates a really nice, simple feeling you can bring into your golf swing and see that perfect takeaway improvement right away. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Do subscribe. As I say, turn the bell to never miss any of our free golf instruction uploads that we put up every single week.